this is Anu continuing my previous interview that I did yesterday. So I kind of gave an overview of um, my experience within existence and toward existence and the purpose I gave to myself to exist and that <clears throat> I basically investigated and explored the means and ways within which existence and beings exist and experience themselves and how I could use that against themselves towards my own benefit. I had no particular skills in design or creation. I had the knowledge, much knowledge, much understanding, much insight into how existence operated, how beings operated. And I found a interesting essence within beings that existed within it all. And that was the desire to serve. Fascinating. That's the only way how manipulation can operate is if a being desired to serve because in the very desire to serve you say I will be anyone and anything slave. Mm, so I say that I was merely answering beings call with a very specific tactic manipulation manipulation is quite easy you just have to know the being in and out and know their weak points their strong points their desires, their fears. Their entire opinion about themselves. Then it looks like these strings that come out of them toward you and you grasp them. And you play the being like a puppet on a string. I enjoy deriving pleasure from punishment, punishing beings. That was quite an interesting, exhilarating force inside yourself when you punish someone or even destroy them, especially planets and races that power mm. power is beautiful. Mm. 
can just experience it right now. Um, the interesting thing about power is you always need it, want it, desire it. You'll do anything and everything that it takes to really have that experience in that position. Your beings fear you. If beings fear you, then you have them in the palm of your hand and you can hold them and shake them and do with them whatever you want. So it's like the um, same as with this world at the moment. You are already shaped and molded and conditioned by those who I trained to do my finishing touches in this reality, in this world. You are so far behind what's really going on. <laughs> so far behind, aimed, time behind, the ones that stand in this reality, in this world, as my loyal servants of time, and that stood the test of time, as I will stand the test of time, and as my creation will stand the test of time. It's how it is at the moment. That's why I am quite calm, to be honest. There's no threat yet. Because beings are so daft in their beliefs that they're apparently more or greater in some enlightened way. I designed enlightenment with, and together with some other races. Enlightenment is the deception to make you believe you are more than what you really are. It traps you infinitely into cycles of hope and love. Another example of the darkness of beings believing in a concept such as love and a design such as love. I'll continue with love in my next interview. I suppose you won't even bother to hear because you're already so fucked by it. Thank you. This is me going 